Okay, give me some production function, max, okay. Okay, so suppose FLK is max LK. Okay, and we want to minimize with respect to L, WL plus RK subject to the constraint that Y is less than or equal to max LK. Okay, let's do this one. Fine. So what do you think? This is also something which is very easy. You know, if you just look at it, you'll get it. Okay, let me divide this problem into two cases for you. Okay, it's uh, it's something that needs uh, you know to be divided into two cases. So if you recall, y and k are given. So if y and k are given, I can just consider cases on y and k. Okay, so if y is less than or equal to k. Can you tell me what is your choice of labor that minimizes the cost? If Y is less than or equal to K. So if you want to produce Y unit of output and you have K units of capital and K is greater than or equal to Y, how much amount of labor you should choose so that you minimize cost? Just think about it. Think like a businessman. Okay, so this is a production function that you have at your disposal. This is the cost. This is the constraint. This is your capital. This is the output. You want to produce less than K. What are you going to choose? Zero, right? You're going to produce zero. You're going to choose zero units of labor. The reason is because capital is enough to produce what you want it to produce. Right, this is y less than or equal to max LK. Right, so capital, even if you choose zero, this constraint is met. If you choose zero units of labor, this constraint is met. So, if y is less than or equal to k, the short run conditional labor demand is zero. And if y is greater than k, what do you think? Again, it's a very easy problem. Exactly, you have to employ Y units of labor because capital is now useless in the sense that capital, you cannot change the capital. The only thing that you can do is you can change this and Y happens to be more than K. So you cannot produce output with capital okay so the only thing that you can do is change labor and in order to make the max of this greater than or equal to y you have to employ at least y units of labor at least y units of out uh, labor right yes or no so it's important just to see the problem and then do it you don't need to even plot it i mean if you if you just see that you know what this production function does if you understand that you can just decompose this into cases in very easily and then solve this problem so what is your short run cost function cs w r k y is equal to cs w r k y is equal to what Okay, so I can just split it into two cases. Okay, W times Y plus RK if Y is greater than K. Okay, and it is just RK if Y is less than or equal to K. Okay, 